so what do you guys what do you guys take you know obviously some horrible images coming through of people like clinging onto the planes and people falling off the planes and no, stuff. I heard there was this youngster who was this up and coming um soccer star that uh, yeah. yeah got uh, to try to uh, be a stowaway on the plane and the landing gear and well he's to say he didn't make it no nah, sad man yeah. really sad yeah. Lester, what's yeah, what's I mean, what's happening in like in your news space in in the UK? I mean, obviously UK had a big <coughs> big role to play. Okay, I'll tell you my news headlines today. We had our worst um, gun shooting in the UK recently for, oh, for yeah. many years. Yeah, what was the background to that? I mean, that wasn't terrorist related. No, just a guy who. I mean, it's the same as all these psycho killers. They, they somehow get a gun. This guy had a license to carry a gun, which is unusual in this country. Yeah, yeah, in UK. He had a I gun mean, like, and then just decided to kick off. Like he had a he had a pistol or like a hunting rifle or like what? Was oh yeah, that? no, it's just, I think it was a handgun. Yeah. Handgun. Okay. Like an... Okay, this is on my news today. Um, U.S. tells people to avoid Kabul airport amid reports of crush. If you, I've seen loads of stuff on TikTok where they've got pictures of, of that airport. I mean, yeah, yeah. they've got helicopters sweeping the runway so that the plane can land on it. Yeah, That's just ridiculous. Yeah. And then there's a standoff with British paratroopers who've formed this line, this wall against, um, uh, well, those, I wouldn't even just call it Taliban. It looks like even locals are up in uproar just trying to get in and, and sort sort their ex-people out. It's just it's carnage, man. Um, what else have we got? But I mean, the thing is, uh, you know, this is the thing, like I asked myself, okay, so the Americans were there. They wanted to establish a democratic government in Afghanistan. I mean, I don't know how long they've been there. 10 years, more than that. Self-sustaining government. 20 years. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Um, and like the Americans just pull out like, and within a week, or within two weeks, it's back to where it was before, theoretically. I know, I know that's broad strokes and generalized and whatever. But I mean, what was the whole point of that exercise? I mean, lots of money spent, lots of people's lives who've been lost Americans, Afghanistan, Afghanistan yeah. <clears throat> whatever. Um, and I mean, you know, and it's done on the premise that, oh, no, but these guys, uh, you know, without the democr uh, democratic government, um, if it's like run by the Taliban, as an example, you know, they harbor terrorists, you know, it becomes this haven and da -da -da, so this is why we're here and this is why we want to do this. And you know, and it's for the people, which I, I, I understand doing it for the people and the democratic and whatever. But I mean, at the end of the day, like you, you're not even, you're not gone for five minutes and already, mm. already it's, um, it's back to where it was before. I mean, like, yeah. what's the point? Can there, I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just looking at this article now. This makes your review, so. So, uh, yeah, whether the former soldiers that were there for the liberation, whether they thought it was worthwhile or not. And? And, is and, like and some of them say, yeah, it wasn't in vain. It wasn't. It wasn't. It? No. And, I'm, and it's, it's made a point. It's shown people the right way. What will be interesting for me over the coming months is figuring out whether it's, if it's 20 odd years or whenever it was since the Taliban were in, in power, what? It's a whole era, right? Mm. So have they changed their ways? I think they oh, have. I bet they, they pro they're probably modernized a bit, right? Okay, but can I ask you a question? They're, if they wanted yeah. to rule the country, why don't they take it democratically? In other words, show that they've changed, canvas the people, demonstrate that they can create a better life for their people under their rule, mm. and win it at elections. Yeah. Why why take it with force? I can explain that. Okay. Because it's faster. Oh no, 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 not just because it's faster. Because 
the way the system was structured structured is that like they couldn't participate in elections, not like under their under the banner, obviously because uh you know, they were they were declared a terrorist organization. As far as I know, they're still declared as a terrorist organization in large well, large many parts of the world, like in Russia for sure, in UK for sure, in US for sure. So and you know, Afghanistani government would not recognize them as a political party and political force, which I'm pretty sure they are. Because <clears throat> like think about it this way. Afghanistan Afghan army is three hundred thousand strong, right? Vanished in like less than a week. Yeah. And the president had to flee again. And the president f- fled and the yeah. generals and their top leadership fled, right? Mm. So so like what so is were it they t- the right writ leaders? So what what does it tell you? It's like I don't think if it's a, even about the leadership. I think I think on a on a local level, right, in Afghanistan, Taliban represents like a rural part of Afghanistan, which is most likely eighty to seventy percent of the population there. Um so when the democratic government was well, when the democratic government was there they only really controlled the urban centers, which is 30% of the country. And Taliban was always there in the periphery, right, in, in rural parts. And whatever you might say, they were running things because there's no way, there's no way they could take over that, quick, t- take over that quickly unless they were really there, right? And uh, I think even like on a, national, on a national level, like Afghanistan's got really complicated politics because it's like 20 different tribes, you know, different clans within those tribes. And it's all driven by agreements, you know, between all these various parties. I'm Which is the sure way it's been for hundreds of years. It's the way it's been for the hundreds of years. You know, I'm pretty sure before the U.S. and the international coalition forces pulled out, you know, there were conversations happening on the ground with the tribal leaders and just, you know, saying, okay, like this is what's gonna happen. Nobody's gonna fight, you know. Because yeah, even think, those, even the army comes from, comes from the general population. Yeah, so they, they, they feel outnumbered, right? Their families feel threatened. They're not, I mean, this is the point for me. Well, one of the points. They, it's been well advertised when these troops are going to pull out for the last time, the American, yeah, the yeah. British, and yeah, other yeah. troops, to to leave the country on its own to sustain itself. So this is they've had time to plan all this. And uh, so it's no wonder it's happened so fast because they've had loads of time, and and I don't think the 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 forces that have been trained and and readied for this backlash that they they expected to come, I just don't think they were were confident enough. They they probably still feel threatened. Their families live somewhere, and, and Taliban has a, a a history of tracking down <clears throat> uh, links to to people who are against them and. and and undermining them that way. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 inevitable. I just think the speed is not surprising, but it, at the same time is. <laughs> so Yeah, so just, you... the, just the UK side, there's just, of the past week, it's just, uh, I'm lost for words here. The dismay, I think it is. People are really disappointed. People have lost lives. They've lost children, grandchildren, yeah. brothers, sisters, and this in this uh it's not even a war it was somebody else's war that we've gone to support just to to be the right guy to mm. try and bring a sense and modernization to this country and get it back on its feet and people believed in it and and that's why some say it was worthwhile because for a while there was respite and 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 perhaps some of these things we put in place may may remain but yeah even the soldiers coming back who've lost legs and other limbs or, or the many hundreds suffering from PTSD. Mm. You know, it, they're sitting there going, I've lost my friends, I've lost my mental well-being for what? And this is, yeah. the, this is what we're going to face in every single war where we now go off to. It's all a lot more publicized now. 